Hello and welcome back to the Science and Engineering Practices Teacher, teacher Toolkit. This toolkit, remember, is a reference guide for teachers in developing college and career ready students. Thank you for taking the time to review these toolkits. I hope they are providing you useful information and easing the transition towards alignment so that we can ensure that Montana students graduate from high school prepared for a career and or college. As you have discovered by now, each of these practices are interrelated, yet uniquely derived. Today's focus is Science Engineering Practice 6, Constructing Explanations and Designing Solutions. The interplay of science and engineering is evident in this practice. While the goal in science is for a student to be able to construct logical, coherent explanations of phenomena, that incorporate their current understanding of scientific processes, engineers must take these explanations into account to determine the optimal solution for a given design. A student progresses in this practice from making observations using simple tools and coming up with simple solutions to a problem in grades K through 2, to constructing explanations and designing solutions based on evidence gathered from sound experimentation independently designed or gathered from valid sources in grades 9 through 12. This seemingly daunting task for teachers is simplified when we allow students opportunities to think things through and explain their thoughts as we listen and guide them to understanding with hands-on, minds-on activities that stimulate creativity and celebrate the process. All the practices thus far can be assessed using multiple choice questions but Science and Engineering Practice 6, Constructing Explanations in Science and Designing Solutions for Engineering, must be a constructive response. Look for terms such as discuss, suggest, or improve in open-ended questions. This NAEP cause of sound grade 8 item was deemed most in agreement to the Science K-12 Framework's grade K-2 grade ban. Kindergarten and first grade teachers can help develop the skills necessary to answer this question by exposing students to different sources of sounds made by visibly vibrating objects so that by the end of grade two, a student who is proficient in science can explain this phenomena by isolating the variables involved, vibrations and sound waves. By grades three through five, students' understandings of natural phenomena deepens, as does their ability to construct explanations. Montana teachers found that this NAEP explained change in volume due to evaporation grade four item was indeed aligned with the science K through 12 frameworks three through five grade band, and the depth of knowledge needed to answer this question successfully was at level two. In grades 6 through 8, students begin to recognize that models are often utilized in science and that these models can be interpreted in order to formulate explanations for Earth's processes. Only about 40% of those completing this NAEP, subduction and orogeny item, fully answered this grade 12 item. That Montana teachers concluded was most appropriate to and in agreement with the science K-12 framework 6 through 8 grade band, and they place this at a depth of knowledge level too. Montana teachers recognize that students need to construct detailed explanations and practice communicating these details through writing. A student proficient in constructing explanations would explain the processes involved. The mountain range near the seacoast was most likely created as the continental crust rose as it collided with the subducting oceanic crust. While a student who is not proficient in constructing written explanations would sim simply write that the crusts collide. In grades 9 through 12, students should have developed the scientific skills necessary to critique scientific ex explanations and to produce more complex explanations for many observations made in their everyday lives. This gives them the foundation for developing detailed explanations and discernment in critiquing complex issues. This NAEP explain alternative hypotheses about the effect of emissions released into the atmosphere, hard grade 12 item, requires a student to integrate scientific understanding across disciplines in order to answer this question proficiently. 
Teachers can develop this ability by providing ample opportunities for self-reliant thinking. Many of the classroom sample tasks available from the Next Generation Science Standards incorporate this task, vital not only to science and engineering, but to the development of independent thinkers and lifelong learners. In the natural selection and the development of antibiotic resistance, middle school sample classroom tasks, students examine how the process of natural selection affects a population of bacteria over time, consider systemic impacts, and discuss possible solutions proposed to combat negative impacts on human health.